Hello everybody. Today we're going to be going, I'm going to be going over this uh, power supply here. I've had this power supply for probably about three years now, roughly, I want to say. And lately I've been having an issue with it. We plugged the MacBook cord in there. And when we turn this on, I'm all the way down. It's showing four volts. So for testing purposes, this does me no good because I can't drop it to one volt for short detection. It just recently started doing it. I mean, if I leave it sit and warm up for a while, it'll sit there and drop down to like probably about 2.8 volts. I'm pretty sure there's a way you could calibrate it. But honestly, I already got my money's worth out of it. I really don't want to mess with it. Probably just going to give it away to one of my friends. So I had to look for a different power supply. And one's always got my interest. So we're going to retire this power supply. It's treating me good. Don't get me wrong. Let's move that out of the way. So let's grab this big box here. All right, there we go. So I have the same maker for my actual, my scope, my portable scope, which I really don't ever use, especially that I got a new meter. So this one was off Amazon. You can purchase it off Amazon. It's pretty expensive. Comes in at about $400, $420 right around there, roughly. Wow, this thing's pretty big. I didn't think it was gonna be that big. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out of here. Let it handle. Put that to the side. Yeah, that thing's got some weight to it. So this is what we get in the actual packaging. Program. Normally I won't read instructions, but It was checked by. So what's pretty nice about this, this has two channels. So I can supply two different voltages and set the voltage level, unlike the other one in the amperage. Now, normally I don't be like, I don't spend that much money on like, you know, other tools besides the JVC equipment. Ah, you could smell that fresh electronic smell. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually buying a newer scope instead of my portable one, the same maker. So this is the SPD3303X-E programmable DC power supply. You know, all the fancy knobs here. Yeah, this is going to be fun to get used to using. I like the quick switches here for the amperage. 
I mean voltage. All right, so we get some get some clips, which I probably won't use those. I have better clips that I got from Chester's Electronics. Plug-in clips. USB data cable. That's so you can probably display it on your computer. And then we get a power cord. Uh, power cord's made pretty decent. I'm going to be using a thicker one. So this is the front of it. And we'll take a look at the back. That's the back of it. All right, so we're going to have to set this to 120. Which it is, it's already set for 120. The two switches over on this side. So that's 120. So 220 would be on the other side. Then you got a data line. Be able to connect other ones together, I, I imagine. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at the instructions. Verify. I like how they put the sticker on here. So you don't just go plugging it in. All right, let me grab the power cord here. We can plug this in. Yeah, this thing's got some got some weight to it, that's for sure. There we go. We got it plugged in. Okay, we're gonna hit power. Holy cow, relays up the yin yang. I heard probably about like three or four relays kick in. Is it touch? Probably not. All right, so that's the voltage. Look at that. That is accurate, big time. There we go, one volt. I'm gonna grab my meter. So that's gonna be channel one. Okay, we got it set, so that's probably gonna turn it on. Might have to read the instructions. Okay. Wonder why I'm not getting no voltage out of there. Maybe you have to set the amperage. Yeah, so we have to set the amperage. So 
So it's showing me one volt there, and my meter is saying one volt, pretty close. Not that off. Interface seems pretty easy. I didn't even read the instructions. Uh, let's crank this up to 4.2. 4 4.2. 4 yeah. It's off like one. That's it. That thing's pretty accurate. So yeah, I like the preset on this. So for like, you know, testing rails that are, you know, shorts that are on like CPU and GPU, you don't want to be pumping too much voltage into it, which my other meter was way too high for some parts to, to pump voltage into, especially finding short detection on like the PlayStation 5s. It's very common on the PlayStation 5s now with uh, shorter components, capacitors. So this is gonna come in pretty handy. I know it's a little pricey. I really didn't wanna spend that much, but figuring I spent on that other one probably about $100. It lasted about three years. Hopefully this will last me about five years or longer. If I get five years out of it, it's gonna be worth it. So I hope you guys like the unboxing, coming along with the unboxing with me. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right here. And as always, thanks for watching.